so last night one of the many people who follow my ministry asked me why was Adonijah put to death for asking for a wife seems pretty silly to kill a guy cuz he asked for a wife and yeah yeah if I asked to to marry Sherry and then her dad said no I'm gonna kill you instead what I'd be pretty upset let's take a look at what was going on in the Bible so we are in 1st Kings chapter 2 and just to provide a little bit of context we'll start reading in verse 10 then David slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David in the days that David reigned over Israel were 40 years seven years he reigned in Hebron and 33 years he reigned in Jerusalem and Solomon sat on the throne of David his father, and the kingdom was firmly established. Now Adonijah, the son of Haggath, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, and she said, Do you come peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. Then he said, I have something to say to you. And she said, Speak. So he said, You know that the kingdom was mine, and that all Israel expected me to be king. However, the kingdom was turned about and became my brothers, for it is his from the Lord. And now I am making one request of you. Do not refuse me. And she said to him, Speak. Then he said, Please speak to Solomon the king, for he will not refuse you, that he may give me a Beshag the Shunammite as a wife. And Bathsheba said, Very well, I will speak to the king for you. So Bathsheba went to King Solomon to speak to him from Adon for Adonijah, and the king arose to meet her, bowed before her, and sat on his throne. Then he had a throne set for the king's mother, and she sat on his right. Then she said, I am making one small request of you. Do not refuse me. And the king said to her, Sure, ask my mother, for I will not refuse you. So she said, let Abashag, the Shunammite, be given to Adonijah, your brother, as a wife. And King Solomon answered and said to his mother, And why are you asking Abishag, the Shunammite, for Adonijah? Ask him also for the kingdom, for he is my old brother, even for him, for Abiathar the priest, and for Joab the son of Zeruiah. Then King Solomon swore by the Lord, saying, May God do so to me, and more also, if Adonijah has not spoken this word against his own life. Now therefore, as the Lord lives, who has established me and set me on the throne of David my father, and has made me a house as he has promised, surely Adonijah will be put to death today. So Adonijah was put to death for asking for a wife. What? Why does that make sense? Well, a text without a context is a pretext for a proof text. You, you have to understand the context of the passage because context is king before Solomon was made king Adonijah saw that his father David and his younger brother Solomon were hanging out Adonijah also saw that his father David was looking kinda sick and that it looked like he might die any day. So, 
Adonijah threw a huge party, invited the royal people from all over Israel, and said, look, I'm at the head of the table. I'm the man of the hour. So, messengers were sent to King David. Uh, dude. Uh, have you made Adonijah king? No. No, I, I, I didn't make Adonijah king. Did you make Adonijah king? King David was out of the loop of this power play by Adonijah. That's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is who this girl is, Abishag the Shunammite. Not any random girl. In fact, she was the last queen married to King David. Really young girl, really pretty girl, of course a virgin that King David never slept with, but that would still sleep in his bed. You know, they'd have snuggles, you know, and warm each other up. And, you know, it was like the last dying comfort of King David to have this girl in bed with him. And so, when Adonijah was asking Bathsheba to marry Abishag the Shunammite, he was making his second power play to establish himself as a potential legitimate rival to King Solomon. Remember, he's already King Solomon's older brother. And now he wants to marry the last queen of the late king. This was a threat to the kingdom. This was a threat that could end up in civil war. Solomon knew this. And he was too smart for this. He recognized that Adonijah made a power play for the reign of the kingdom before he was made king. And now he perceives that Adonijah is making a power play for the kingdom after Solomon has been made king. So what Adonijah was doing was treason. What Adonijah was doing was wrong. What Adonijah was doing had to be punished and was going to be punished and the sentence, the execution was carried out because Adonijah was not just asking for a wife he was still scheming for a way to be able to take over the kingdom and remove King Solomon from power it was treason and treason has to be dealt with. I hope this answers your question. If anybody else has questions, feel free. Give me, give me a chance to answer. God bless.